Welcome back to Under Rig Review, and today I'm going to take a look at the Link Rig from Breath of the Wild, and you can find it on Gumroad. It's by Christoph Schock. Schock? I'm curious how you pronounce that. And he also has a ton of other rigs on there, so check it out. I'm going to definitely review all of these at one point, and as always, it will be posted on here as well collecting all those rigs so if you have a rig send it to me if you want your rig reviewed you can also send it to me link in the description with the email and all the information now i loaded the rig up and this is how it loaded with all the textures but just in case when you go out into a different view the hair is dark and what happens go into lighting two-sided lighting and it's back it's a very cool rig very appealing cool detail and lots of options so let's always start at the bottom i don't know why but i'm gonna continue so what is this main controller gives you main controller stuff it's also a fairly light rig as you can see with the geometry but also manipulating it around very light and you have a global scale right there which is good and it seems fairly big compared to the grid if you look at the maya grid a fairly big rig here so scaling options are always welcome all right you have a second controller here just in case you need more and if you need to change uh, any kinds of pivots i guess you can just bring this guy down here and now you have somewhat chest center of gravity just in case link wants to fly around i don't know whatever you want to do but that is always cool to have options there looking at the feet this is all fairly standard here moving around the knee stays put and you can move the knee with this and you can turn this on and off. Let's go back down and that's that for the feet here. But going back here, you have this option. This gives you foot roll all the way up there. You also have extra controllers here. This is for the pivot here, but you can't translate this around. So this is for your cigarette scrunchiness you have side pivots here so instead of having all of this on a controller here or here the way a lot of the rigs have you have it separately here where you can do all kinds of things in terms of pivots and why not that's also a cool option then back there you have your stretch and bend but it doesn't mean that the legs bend or stretch this is when you take your leg and you move it out it's not stretching you have it on now it's stretching. So it's not like an extendo leg option the way some of the rigs have. This is just for you as an option to turn the stretchiness on or off. And the bend is an option for your typical bend bows where you can move all that stuff around. So classic stuff, but very cool, especially for posing. So on here, turn this on or off. Also, you have IKFK. So you switch to FK, classic FK options with a scale so here is you actually your stretchy option same thing here move it around or scale it rotate around and scale like that and you have your world space options as well and this goes all the way down to the feet there's no scale here but you can rotate this around and let's go back to ik as i showed you here you have your movement and no other options here this is of course mirrored on both sides and that is it for the bottom part as we are working our way up what is this this is for your cloth so if you have for instance so if you take your leg and you move your leg up you can see that it will intersect so what can you do you can grab this and move it out you can also rotate it so that you have this going on that's always good for all your quick actions or even if you just do a walk so that there are no intersections there big fan and this goes all the way up to here and in the back as well there is an option if you select the top one to go auto so i'm going to bring this back down boop, and i'm going to also turn this guy on auto so what does that mean so if you take your leg ooh, it does it to some degree for you which is cool and then you can have this for extra options and tweaks very cool Again, a big fan of that. All right, moving all the way up here, let's start with this one. This is your core. An interesting thing is actually, it's not your root. This is moving everything. So just like when I did this, when I moved this around for a pivot, you actually have something here to move the character around. 
your actual root is back there. And I would probably move this forward to be a bit more visible, but at the same time, once you know it, you know it. But this is actually the root that moves this around so that arms and legs are not following. There's a stretch option as well and IK FK. So you can switch this over so that you have actual IK control over your root. So then going back here again, this behaves just the same. Now, as you move this, as you move the lower part, you can see that everything moves here, but you can say isolate hip. And that means that now you have actual hip controls. And if you go back and you say, well, I want this back to be IK, you still have a pelvis control here. And if you go up here, you have your chest tilt. You can move this all around and moves everything. And you can go all the way up to here again, where this is your IK chest, if you so want to. There is no option, you have sub controls, but there's no option to turn off the hips. So if you do an IK version of this, your hips are countering. The sub control is this, the sub control is that where you can have your middle section for a better posing. But if you go back and I move the chest and I move this around, you're gonna have to counter with this as of now, because I don't see any other option unless you switch this again to FK, but then that takes the whole IK idea out. So as I'm looking here, I don't see any other options, which is a bit of a bummer. I'm actually liking IK FK options here, but I would love for this to not actually influence the hips when you do this. Well, that's just me. Going back here, just to show it, you have your pouchy option to move it around, but it doesn't detach. You can rotate this around, I guess, for squishiness. You can't scale it, but you also can't detach. You have a visibility option. It says there's a visibility option, but as of now, I don't see an influence right now. Now, this is also in your rig. I'm sure there's going to be an update. He does update his rigs frequently, so watch out for that. Now, going back, you have this option here, and this is for your shoulder. It's also interesting placement. At first, I thought it was an option to take the tunic off or something. But these are your clavicle controls. Again, placement, probably put at higher when this is not a clavicle option by the way this is for the shoulder pad whoops that you can move around but it's attached and again visibility on off is cool but interesting that it's not coming off now if you go back here what is that this is your neck control again it's not around the neck it's behind it it's just a different way of showing and displaying your options here you can't translate this is purely for the lower neck rotations. And if you want the higher pivot, it's this control, whoops, that moves it around like that, like a crazy person. No scale and oh, there is a translate just in case you want to do that. And just going back to the shoulders, clavicles, there is no auto clavicle and there's no translate. This is purely for rotations. So if you move your arm up like that, however you want to, you're gonna have to separately do this. There's no auto control but at least there is an option there. For the shoulders, that's all cool. Elbow, pole vector, there as well. But as we go up here, bing, you have all of this. So this is very interesting. You can move this around, which is neat. It's almost like be kind of cool to move this around. Just in case you are not super happy about this, just grab that, the vertices, move this around, move this here, make it bigger, scale it back down like that. And now, what is this? This is your head control. So just in case you want to fidget around with the visibility and where it is, I don't see how this will break anything, but that's just me. So maybe if you want your classic root placement, you can always move this around and scale it and it's right there. So when you grab this, you know, ah, that is actually the root. But going back to this, this is super cool. So now you have the visibility of all of those things here. You have the sword, very cool. Look at that, it's really cool. I'm a big Zelda fan, love it. Actually just restarted Breath of the Wild on the master mode, whatever it's called, super hard. Then you have, and also this is this, and you have the controls. So each of these, you can deform it, but you have a master deformer, so you have that left and right. You can also grab this here. So it grabs the whole thing, including rotations. This is also deformation, just in case you have smear frames. And the cool thing too is that if you want this 
in Link's hand, space backhand, it does that, which is very, very cool. And I'll get to the hand options as well because it has an auto grip, but this is very, very cool. Might as well show it to you here when you select this here, you have the grip option right away, just in case. Very neat. Anyway, let's go back. You got your sword, visibility on off. You have your shield, again, with options to deform, and you have an option to move this around and an option to move this to an arm. And of course, you're gonna have a grip option there as well. Very cool, I love this. Then you have your ice rods. Very cool, look at that. Same thing here, a ton of options in terms of moving things around, but also moving a geometry around all the way down to the tip where you can move all those things around. It's very cool to have all those props. So when you think it's just for the character, nope, it has everything in there. Now, what is that? This is back there and you have the kunai. Same thing here, you have options for deformations and for a general placement. Now, that being said, since we're getting into this area, just to quickly show you, you got the cloak visibility and controls. You can move this around, but I'm gonna turn the cloak off just to show you a better view of what's going on back there. All right, let's go back, turn this off. You have also a bow and you have the bow string. You have options here to move that string around just in case you have also this, which is Everything except scale, you have that to move around and you have a master control to move everything around. There are no textures on this. So we're gonna select this and you can see here the arranged diff texture is not loaded there. And I found it in here. I'm gonna say yes and it's back just in case. There are different ways of loading the textures, but this is one way just to see where that path is. But let's go back here and turn this off. Then you have the quiver. So cool, I love the textures, it's really, really neat. And you have arrows, look at that, one, two, three. Very cool. Quiver control, of course. So you can take those arrows out and you have overall quiver manipulation options. Let's turn this off. Then you have the Sheikah Slate. Ooh. Little Link iPad. And of course the controls. Turn this back off. You have a torch. Where is the torch? Down here. Just know that if you take Link and you move him, the prop moves with it. So if I wanna take, so I wanna select that torch. Right there, you have fire. I love this too, this is very cool. Fire geometry, and you have your space switching. So you can say hands, right side. It's there. Of course, I have values on there. Take those out. And he's holding the torch like that. You can, of course, always rotate around, depending. Turn this off. You have books. Let's take this master control and take a look. Ooh. Very cool. Looks like you have extra controls here as well. Oh, look at that. You can open up the book, which I will probably just fold it open. And as you do that, let me see, there's other stuff here. So you have are those extra pages. Oh, you can move the page around. Super nerdy. I love it. Let's turn this off. You have the harp. Again, it's up there in the middle. Let me grab this. And the harp has a main control and also for all the strings there. So cool, so many details in the props. Absolutely love this. It's a free rig, so absolutely send some money on his way. Oh, whoops, selected here. Here's the apple, let me bring this up into here. You have even a control for the stem. Ooh, you can translate and scale. And the cool thing on the apple, you have a bite. You can turn this on and off, so cool. Very cool detail. Let's turn this off and then you have Potion and potion control visibility, which is over there. This is your potion. You got your cork, take off scale. No, no scale. And then you have this, the tag. You can animate the tag. And then you have your overall control. And in the middle, what is this? Liquid, liquid control. So rotate, rotate the liquid and you can pour the liquid. 
Interesting. So you can see it in here. Pouring it in or out. And the subcon. You have subcon visibility. So this is for your liquids. My question is, how can I see the liquid? So what if I say materials here? Let's go to this. I want to turn transparency on just a bit. This is your middle part of the liquid. Again, selecting this, you pour it. And then you can see what's going on. And you can rotate this around. So as you pour, you can see how this rotates around. I might be missing something in terms of how we can see this. I'm sure you don't have to do this the way they did with the textures, but if anybody knows, you can comment and let me know. If there's any type of error, it's usually me, it's user error. All right, let's go back. Turn this off. Like I said, you got the cloak. You got the cloak geometry deformation controllers. Turn this off. Then let's go back here. You have your waist object control visibility. So this is for your tunic. And then you have your hair. Ooh. You have all your hair controls. Let me just double check what that does. You have all your translates, all right, rotates. Yes, you can rotate and translate. This seems to be pretty straightforward. You have the back for the tone, Tony tail, the Tony tail, the ponytail. All right, so you have all these controls, cool. Hair control and ear control. There you go, ear control is right there. And translate, no, but you can translate the controller. Then let's continue here, just go down. You have all this, you have face macro control visibility on off. Interesting. Brow control on. Let's turn, bam, all the face stuff off. So now you have technically all of this for your face, which you can move around, or you have it directly as a face manip, as we say. And hair type, short and long, or not. Not working. And right arm default glow. That's in the thumbnail. Look at that. That's cool. Here's your arm. A glowy arm. But let's go back to the face before I go to the hands. So you have here tongue curl. Well, let's open the jaw here. This is your jaw control. Ah. And you see this here. You do have controls. So you can move this around. No scale. But you can translate this around and rotate as well. Just in case you want to do this though. Over here, this is your tongue curl. For the mouth, this is for your sink. How, 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 like that. Emotes. This is feels like Jason Osipa old school style. Not always a massive fan of this, but for a quick selection, quick blocking, why not? Again, you have brow selections here, angry, all kinds of stuff here. Pinch and brows up and down. At the same time, you can go in there and move this around like this, if you so desire. Ooh, there's no constraint here. Okay, so you can go in and out just in case. And again, you have all those options to create face shapes. Now, if I select this, what's the geom here? Oh, okay, so you can smooth this out just in case. It's gonna slow down everything. It's gonna slow things down, but you can see there's a bit nicer creasing, but you can only go so far until it breaks, but you do have cheek controls you have all kind of different controls there are no nostrils technically visible but you can manipulate that off you can even go down to the chin and move this around it's very cool definitely lots of eye options interesting look at that you can move all of those highlights around i'm a big fan of adding highlights in there that's a, a lot of details in the eyes this is purely for your eyes here and this one same thing you can rotate this and move it as a group. Interesting. So in case you want it or you don't, these are fine control options for your lids. This is rotation. All right. So this is for the blink. Same thing. Small stuff and the actual blink that goes this way. And you can also rotate like that for other shapes. Move this up. Yes. And this is your overall eye box moving around Ooh, with auto lid follow. Let me see here, auto lids. Yes, you can turn it off. So then it just only the eyeballs. 
You have ooh, quick blink. Always cool to have that just in case. Pupil dilation, yes or no, and iris dilation, yes and no. Very cool, lots of options here. Do we have tooth options? What is this? Yes, this moves your mouth burger up and down. And same thing at the bottom scale. Oh, scale for control, but you can move and rotate as well. Very cool. Let's go down here. Hands. So you have your IK arm. Whoa, IK arm like this. There's a rotation lock. Bam. So when you move your IK arm around, your wrist stays put. Ah! Yes, I love this. Every rig should have that. So whenever I say something about the elbow, I wish this had an elbow pinch. But at least this rig has a lock on the wrist. And you can still move it around like that. But I love this. Rotation lock. Yes, please. Every rig, please have a rotation lock, please. All right. What's the rest here? You have your finger controls. Let's move these guys around. Yep, you got that. Any translates? No. Yes. Yes. Move this around if you want to. This looks like palm control. Yes, you have all of that. No scale, but you can translate and rotate. So all those options here. What is this? This is the part there that you can detach the hand plate. And I'm still curious. I must have also missed something here. This is a full deformation, but not a detach. Again, user error, probably me, but it would be cool to be able to detach this. Then going back here to the control, so you have your stretchy option, bend and grip. So if I turn this off, this is for your FK, and you can move this around FK style, and it does have the scale option. Ooh, hmm. Scale in terms of control, but not the arm. Let me see. What about this? Scale on the channel. Nope. Move this to FK. And can I scale? No. So it looks like that is just not connected just yet. This is version one of the rig. No problem. What else is on there? We're local world space options. And going back to this, you have your Benbows on off. They're slightly hidden, but they are there. And the grip options when you are putting a sword in there. Very cool. I think that's it. As always, if I missed something, I did a cursory look before I opened this. But as much as I remember, I think that is it. It's a very nice light rig. Very cool options. Lots of prop options, which is super, super cool. Textures are really nice. And again, two options for your face. And that concludes the Link Breath of the Wild rig. I will in the near future look at the other rigs by Kristoff. There are very cool rigs there as well, just to just to complete the Link Zelda Breath of the Wild completion set. And again, if you have any rigs that you want me to review, you can send me a link. If you have any rigs that you want me to feature on Animation Buffet, send me a link as well, and I will post them as well for archiving purposes. Is that a purpose? Archiving purposes? I don't know. I'm just collecting all those rigs on there for one centralized place. And that's it. Thank you for watching. And if you don't want to miss any of my rig reviews, of course, you are free to subscribe and free to hit that bell button so you don't miss any uploads. And Link says, yes, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. Thank you.